Just being myself. Right. Like, I ain't trying to be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Be biting. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just Facts. let me know that what I'm doing is sticking. Facts. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going everywhere. So I, I just go off real life situations. Mm-hmm. Things I went through, childhood, pain, a lot of pain. You know what I'm saying? And stuff I dealt with was with football. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff I dealt with growing up, family, everything. It's just. Head on the swivel, I'm focused and not out here nervous. Your words never hurt us. Straight out the dirt, no the grind is gonna take me to furthest. My verses and curses. Me and my dog wrote down 50 50, no curtains. I'm closing the curtains. Stop all the acting, I'm tired of all of the purpose. Moving like I'm never going against the law. Moving like I'm Shout out to our partner, Obsidian, by Magma Capital Funds. Their hedge fund exclusively built for current and former professional athletes. Obsidian works hard to change the investing game for athletes. They strive to perform well in all environments, just like you. What happened in Remember the Titans? Remember the Titans? You don't remember? You don't know that movie? That I've was Bert the first you are a football <laughs> player. Like the first Bert second year of school. It, I, when <laughs> we went to watch that Little League, it was niggas crying. Cry? I am no cap. Like, you will cry. Remember, you haven't seen that movie? Titans? I can't remember. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I Are you been cultured? T- I ain't been watching TV like Bro, that. It's not about watching TV. Oh, you know remember the Titans. <laughs> That's like asking somebody if they ever watched Martin before. It, it, it if they never is. watched Martin, then they never watched Martin. No. no. You got to watch Martin. Mm-mm. What? The Fresh Prince. That's just a classic. Yeah. A football class. Hood yeah. classic. Every hood. classic. Denzel, yes. fool. Family classic. Sunshine. That's why um, they oh. call Trevor Lawrence Sunshine. Okay, okay, okay. It's ringing the bell. You don't know. He okay. lying. All right. <laughs> he oh, lying. my earring. Man, players mess up. I, ain't, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> players mess up. Play. Lou. Yo. What's up? <clears throat> we, we rolling? Yeah, we man. rolling. We've been rolling. Oh, we rolling. We're going to start rolling. with right, talking right, about, you talking about movies and stuff like that. Yeah, man. You good? Yeah, let's roll. Let's go. What's up with you? Hey man, tell me what's on your uh, your, your your hoodie, man. Oh, <coughs> <laughs> so look, I, I I started this thing with my uh, content, like making fun of like not making fun, of, but paying homage uh-huh. to Baltimore accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, my brother, he uh, my brother, and my sister, they from Baltimore, so we ain't gonna get into how they from Baltimore. And I'm from DC, but you read between the lines. But anyways, okay. they uh from Baltimore, and the, the way they talk always had me laughing at growing up. Yeah. So they be like, people say Lou, but they be like, yo, Lou. <laughs> yeah. Avenue. I, I always Avenue. wanted to know, why? What, what is this accent? I don't know. What is the T and all they that been, other stuff? Listen, they was doing that. We was little. They would be like, Lou, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> so this is at a young age. So now, like, I always used to make fun of them growing up. I would have them laughing. So as I got older, I mean, now that I'm doing this content, and then uh, one of my men, he, he sent me something. He's like, man, try to say Hulu like a Baltimore person. And I was like, mm, Netflix, huh? Hulu. <laughs> so that's, uh, so you see the Hulu University. Yay. Merch coming soon. You know, uh-huh. Hulu ain't want to pay me. <laughs> but uh, they they definitely check. they definitely a couple weeks ago uh, about a month ago they changed their Twitter it was it's Hulu and they said AKA who like how I spelt my I mean, this was last year I was doing this Hulu stuff so you know just a trendsetter it's looking like a check <laughs> to me you know what I mean that's hey. all it is like sounded like you need Netflix a check. Netflix did me dirty they some show they got I don't know the name of the show. Um, damn, I could, f- it, something, it's on Netflix, and I did this thing with Steve Harvey, they used that, they, they parried it, like parody, mm-hmm. so, I mean, that's, that's more so like, you know, paying homage or whatever, so I was like, damn, like, that just let me know that what I'm doing is sticking, right? and it's, it's timeless. Yeah. But you, you know still need that check, though. Facts. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna get that on the back end, so, I, you know what I'm saying, God got me. God got you. So I ain't tripping. But they don't got you, though. 
Hulu and Netflix and Hulu don't got me. But my man got me though. <laughs> Call him Big G. Yeah. Big G, Big G got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, God. Good God. And you have a, a good relationship from Steve Harvey. Uh, I was doing some background research on how you went on Family Feud. Yeah. What was that experience like to, you know, you always wanted to be a comedian, said you wanted mm-hmm. to do it since seven years old. Right. Then you get out on this big stage in front of all these people on mm-hmm. Family Feud, you know, tons of people watching at home. Mm-hmm. And it's like your time to shine. Yeah, I was a little nervous because, mind you, like, you know, like households. So you get the Family Feud, it's a different audience. So it's, it literally was only like three black people in the audience. Everybody else was white. <laughs> so it was three black, it was three women, three black women. And I literally I get there, we 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 sh- they flew me to LA. My man had hit, like the the way it happened was um my man Q Quentin uh Cole, shout out to Quentin. He uh he went to Morehouse. Uh-huh. I went to Georgia Tech, so he went to Morehouse. So when I started doing the Steve Harvey stuff, that happened because my friend her mom was like um, hey, has Lou ever done like a Steve Harvey? And I was like, you mean Steve Harvey from the Steve Harvey show? Like Hot Top Steve Harvey? <laughs> <laughs> Big lips. Steve right. <laughs> and then she was like, I was like, she was like, no, the talk show. I was like, I don't really watch the talk show. Like, right. I don't watch bald head Steve Harvey. Right. <laughs> so I said, put the YouTube on. We all chilling at the crib. And I was like, he just be like, I was like, everybody be clapping. He'll say like two plus two equal four. And they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> And it's I was a like, different type of comedy, though. Right, right. It's white people. Right. So I was <laughs> like, okay, I could maybe use that. So I was like, I could say the simplest shit, and then we could have like that audience clapping. We did that. It went crazy. And I kept saying, I was like, man, one of these things is going to go crazy. That one went crazy. And then my man sent it to his, he went to Morehouse with Steve Harvey's son. Mm-hmm. And his best friend, Steve Harvey's uh, son, best friend, Bryce. Um, and um, my man uh, Tabidi, and um, they he sent it to him. He was like, "Lou, I'm gonna send it." To I was like, "Bro, send, what? Why are you calling me? Send it!" <laughs> <laughs> like he sent it to him. They hit right. me, and they was like, "They want to fly me out to L.A. Did the Family Feud thing." I get there now. That now when I got like when I got there, we shot a bunch of stuff before I even hit Family Feud stage. Yeah. And I get on this, and I'm about to go on stage, and they just like, "All right, man, do what you gonna do." I was like, "Damn!" They just like. Go, all right, go ahead. What you gonna do? I get out there and I saw three black women. And like, oh, I was like, I'm gonna just focus on my sisters right here. <laughs> right. And I and then we did it and then yeah, went up. That's a lit, bro. That's a lit. That's bro. crazy. Like how yeah. you be coming up with your jokes, yeah? Um, like I said, that was more so I was like, I watched it and I was like, okay. He be saying just simple things and they gonna love it. So I was like, I'm gonna just say like my own simple things as a Steve Harvey type dude, and we gonna mix it up. But now it's like I wanted to like get out of the Steve Harvey. Like obviously, like that's how I, I got on. Right. You know right. what I mean? And then they signed me after that. Mm-hmm. It was more so like an audition. Mm-hmm. So I thought I was just gonna go there and do some content. They were like, Nah, we 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 probably trying to sign you. So Man. I was like, oh, okay. So I mean, shit, that's lights crazy. come on, that's that's it. So Facts. they signed me. So now it's just more so like I want to have my own voice, mm-hmm. like my own char- like my own character, my own stuff. Um, I always impersonate people growing up, but mm-hmm. now it's just like I'm doing things that's uh, more so like relatable to mm-hmm. people, like day-to-day stuff. Right. And I'm just really being myself. Right. Like, I ain't trying to be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Be biting. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just let me know that what I'm doing is sticking. It's facts. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going everywhere. So I, I, I just go off real life situations. Mm-hmm. Things I went through, childhood, pain, a lot of pain. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And stuff I dealt with was with football. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff I dealt with growing up. Family, everything. It's just I take all my pain and and I make these jokes. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. And it's like, have you ever been in a situation where you're like, damn, I don't know what I'm gonna post today? Like, like uh, like okay. 
after I did, uh, like, sometimes, like, literally, after I did the Steve Harvey one, I was like, damn. Like, everybody like this. Like, what am I going to do next? <laughs> right? And that was early. Right. But I've had that situation happen time at a time. And then it just, it, it just clicked. Something just hit me. And I'm when I think like that, something new just happened. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or experience that happened or something just like like a deja like deja vu like something would just click in my head or I just could I, I like to write a lot when I'm by myself mm-hmm. and I put my you know I put my slow jams on and I just be creating slow you know jams yeah I, I wanted to talk about like that like the evolution of your content because it's yeah. like you you probably started what by yourself one man band type of thing or did you have somebody like help you I cameraman s- like so, let's get a, a full yeah. picture so the first the first video I did was a, was a Denzel Washington joint. Yeah. So like I always like Denzel, that's my favorite actor. Mine too, bro. Okay, so what's your favorite Denzel movie? Training Day. What, what we got? I mean, all. I mean, Training Day definitely my my. You know what I'm saying Training Day definitely my my goat American Gangster. Yeah. yeah like American yeah. Gangster. So <laughs> like to me, the American Gangster is like that character he acting like. That's like. I can relate to that because that's like my father, my grandfather, right. like that OG, that yeah. OG, like the <laughs> men I grew up looking up to. Right. I ain't look up to Michael Jordan, right? Or, yeah. or these, you know, what I'm saying? I looked up to my father, my grandfather. You know, what I'm saying because they was like around the neighborhood. They was like him, him, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, what I'm so that's For sure. that was like that's how I looked at. So when Denzel be on, I be like, oh, that's my man. Yeah, like, yeah. he ain't, he ain't no superstar to me. He just that's that's the OG. That OG right there. Yeah, so I did like something in the and she uh my one of my best friends, she she always told me in college, she's like, Lou, you should do videos. This is around when Vine, mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I was um, like, I would make a vine. I'm like, man, fuck this. Like, <laughs> I, like it's too much chopping and shit. Like yeah. then, But Vine was like the evolution for late. everything, though. But the videos were so short on Vine. Like Six, now seven you look seconds, back, and like I, on TikTok and different things that we have now. But Vine was like, I think the start of it. Vine, I mean, some it of the funniest videos. Yeah, Vine, 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 right? Like Vine, Vine but I want to repeat it. Like damn, right? But I, I was like, you know how it is. Like when you college athlete, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know they watching your social media. Yeah, true, very you true. can't, you can't do the things that a normal. At a, a college student would do right or post right like we would have all these you know seminars about this is what to post this is what right. not to post so i'd be so like compliance, I, meetings, yeah, yeah. compliance yeah. that's it yeah <laughs> so i was already you know i was already I, you know i was getting in trouble anyway so it's like <laughs> fuck, like this is gonna <laughs> add on to my record i like i'm trying to clean my slate right. so i would post little things and i had to delete it because i might be cussing right and i was right. like I don't, I don't want that image. Right, right. And my boys, they were all, everybody they were like, man, Lou, like, you need to do that. And I always said I was going to do that when I was seven. But I was like, I don't know how to balance it. And um, but she always said it. She was like, Lou, man, you know, you should do it. And we uh, once I got to, uh, I think, what happened? I was rehabbing. Mm-hmm. I was with Arizona. And um, I was with Car- the Cardinals and then. I, re- I was bored of shit. <laughs> and I was like, man, I need, I was like, I called on my boy. I was like, man, I think I'm about to do this shit, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm about to just make these videos. I ain't got shit to do. Right, facts. Like, I don't know, you know, it's like year four, like, man, I, I don't know, bro. Like, right. I, I'm ready to do this shit. Right. And she put the camera, like, she, we, we linked up. I got to the A, Atlanta. Uh-huh. And, um, we did like a couple videos, and it was more so just Denzel stuff. Mm-hmm. And that first video, like the first video, it was like I, it was like that first day, with like two thousand views, oh, with like two hundred comments. I was like, I was like, oh shit! <laughs> 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 like now, like I look at that, and now I'd be like, shit! Now I can get like two thousand in like three minutes, right? But it's just working, right? You know right. what I mean? That growth. What, what's your favorite Denzel? Uh, like line, um, you see, uh, uh, we about to put uh, your, uh, we about to put your acting skills <laughs> on the map right now. Like I like, like people, like I, I find humor in probably some serious shit. Might not be. I funny. was going to ask you that. 
ask you that. Was you one of those up, people bro. where you got to look over at them like, this is not the time for that? No, you it's not. Yes. Up, yes. <laughs> like, okay, like the time where Denzel, all right, y'all see Training Day? Yes. Right? When his son, uh, uh, um, you know, Jake come in there. Jake. He's shooting <laughs> shoot shit up. That's my son. That's <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> Behold. Like, that's a serious, that's a serious moment. But funny to me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, protect and serve. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's like, you know, I'm surgical. <laughs> like, that's, that's my, that's so like, it might be, it's a serious moment. But I just, I don't know. I f- and that's part of like, like I say, with my pain, you know what I mean? Like, my brother, like, like, my, like, so with the Baltimore stuff, like, when my brother died, that's, he was from Baltimore. So when I do this Baltimore comedy type stuff, that's like I'm communicating with my brother. Mm-hmm. But like, even at his funeral, like, you know, it was like, I was, I, like, obviously I was sad. Mm-hmm. But like, I didn't, I was like, man, it was some crazy shit that happened at that funeral. That might not be, f- it's, it's a serious moment. But now I look on it now, and I'm like, I laugh at it now to get me through that pain. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Type of stuff, yeah. Nah, that's just some crazy stuff happening, though, when you see your family. I just went to one other day, bro. My, co- man, my cousins, they be tripping. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know, bro. My cousin just, he died me up. I was like, he was like, nice to see you, man. I'm like, I'm like nice to see you, too. And then five seconds later, he just gave me a hug and just squeezed me. And I was just like, like you all right, bro? <laughs> He was like, nah, I just ain't see you in a long time. I'm like, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, you don't know, bro. <laughs> we just dapped up. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. We just, we just dapped up. Yeah. up. I'm like, boom, Why boom. Are you hugging me, man? Some, it'd be some like, different stuff. He's like, you all right, bro? The funerals? Yo, you ain't seen me. Like, I ain't seen you in how many years? Man, you got big. <laughs> like, I mean, well, yeah, bro. It's been like it 12 years. <laughs> like, yeah. like, come on now. Like, and that's the thing. Like, man, I, I remember it was a funeral. My aunt funeral, and and <laughs> they was you know family be beefing and stuff. Right, right. So you know the repast. Right. Uh huh. You know people want to eat. Yeah. Oh yeah, the food. So crazy. You know, so we ordered a bunch of Popeyes and shit, all right, thing. <laughs> Everybody like shit. I'm like some of them thighs up. <laughs> Everybody ready to eat, and her daughter got mad at everybody. She took that take. Boom. She ain't nobody the eating tonight. <laughs> oh, what? Nah. Why did she get mad? I don't know. I just, I just know <laughs> chicken on the floor. Man, ain't nobody eat. And you know, red beans and rice too. everywhere. Biscuits, hot biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you know them Popeyes biscuits. Oh, when they no. hot, nigga, you get a little honey. It's different. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you, gotta know, get the you don't need no jelly. bed. You get them drinks. Grape yeah, jelly. Get the yes, jelly. I gotta the get the jelly. jelly. Uh, the grape You get honey. Honey. No. Nah, the honey epic. The, honey the inside and out. You got honey the inside and out? You're missing it. No. Nah, and the, the strawberry and mix them. Mm-hmm. The grape and the strawberry and mix them together. I, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't yeah, know about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't even hit me. Them drinks OC. You need to go. Please. Them drinks are OC. I'm going to bring some. I'm going to bring some for y'all Monday. Yeah, the exotic. Strawberry and grape. Strawberry with the grape. He's doing too much. Yo, oh, I'm missing it, bro. He's doing way too much. You was just trying out stuff that night. That nah, you did it's that. really good. Bro. Who told you to do that? Me. You just randomly be putting stuff together, like. Yeah. What else yeah. you put together? Are you the type? What you, else have you, you experimented? Um, do you eat oodles and noodles? Too? Yes. Yes. You you, um, yeah. you you make them the your way. Facts. You don't just use the seasoning in I the put, packet. I put. What I do put you put in your oodles and noodles? I put more seasoning. I put seasoning all. That's seasoning all. Hot sauce. Hot, yes, hot yes. sauce. That's one hundred percent hot. What else I put in there? Yeah, it is. Sometimes it is. soy yeah. sauce. Do you make yours on the stove or in the microwave? <laughs> yeah, looking at me like, oh, what, huh? It's so You make yours Micro- on, on the stove sometimes. or the microwave? Microwave. You don't, you don't be eating noodles, do you? I do. I like oodles and noodles. Which one? The last couple of noodles. noodles. The chicken, no. Chicken flavor. The chicken oodles and noodles. That's the only the ones that I like. I don't like the beef. You gotta get the shrimp. The shrimp, shrimp and chicken? Uh, nah, just the shrimp. You can mix no, the seasoning. The too. orange packet, the chicken oodles and noodles, those are the best. I don't like the beef ones. Whoever liked the beef, beef ones. Beef is disgusting. Nah. Beef don't even sell out. <laughs> <laughs> you can find beef in the Walmart right now. <laughs> right. 
They still got a truckload of them. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, no way. Yeah, so from a from a football standpoint, mm-hmm. um, my earring fell again. It's okay. We'll fix that. You bounced around in the NFL, yeah. uh, uh, went undrafted in 2014. But the thing that I love the most about your story is the perseverance part, mm. you know, because a lot of people – They'll be like, man, I got sent home again. Forget that. You yeah. um, you know, you told a story how you went, you were signing leases and stuff like that at, at the location. So first of all, I want to know, how were you getting up out of these leases? Like what what does that conversation go like for a person who, you know, we had just had yeah, the draft go on line. and stuff like yeah. that? And you know, you you gotta move <laughs> around. And sometimes life happens like that. And yeah. then, you know, you get to a point where you go to the Super Bowl. Nice little career in your hands. You know, you stayed in the league for some time, so definitely a perseverance type of story. I mean, like, I can laugh at it now, Mm -hmm. but, all right, my rookie year, right, undrafted, signed to to all the – well, congrats to all the um, guys who got drafted and undrafted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage of it. Embrace it. It's a humbling experience. It's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as an undrafted guy, mind you, me coming out of high school, I can take you back. Me coming out, I was a high profile type athlete, mm-hmm. so to speak, whatever the f- you want to call it, <laughs> right? I do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I got in a lot of trouble in college, right? And you know, it then it then it was injuries and stuff like that. So I dealt with that. Um, I guess persevering through things early on in college. Prepared you. Pe- right. It like right. right people write me off like, oh, he's a head case. Oh, now he's injured. Oh, so he's not the same. So that's like I gotta fight through the injuries. Then on top of that, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm fucking up. So <laughs> it's like like damn, you know what I mean? So um I was just trying to, you know what I mean, just get my character I was just trying to correct my character right. coming out of college. Thank God that I was able to graduate. Um, I graduated three and a half years from Georgia Tech. That's tough. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Georgia Tech, that ain't no easy that school. That ain't no easy shit. <laughs> like, ACC, all that, yeah. So even through all that trial and tribulation, stuff like that, and some self-inflicted things that came from myself, I kept my focus, and I was like, I still got to get, you know what I mean, get my paperwork and get up out of here. And I wasn't about to be one of these motherfuckers who, Got to come back after playing. And all. Yeah, I wasn't no. doing that. Yeah. I wasn't doing that. I, I already, I was trying to get out in three years, period. That was my fact. So, um, come like my sophomore year, I had a great year, right? right? I seen, they said I could go in the second, third round. So, my head, I was like, shit, I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> As a junior, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, I had my shit ready. I was taking extra classes. Right. I was already, I was like, we out. Right. Gone. <laughs> like, I'm, yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski. <laughs> then I get suspended for the first, what, two games of the season. Then prior to that, I get, I break my thumb, right, in training camp. Hmm. So when I come back to play, I'm in there with a fucking cast. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, um, I'm like, like, you know what I'm saying? People, like, it looks to the perception is everything. So they see that, oh, he's, he's, he's a head case. That's what they see, head case. They don't know that I'm dealing with all this other stuff. So I was like, well, I can't leave this year. So now I come back and I'm fighting through the injuries. Then in that same year, tear my sh- uh, shoulder up. Mm-hmm. So literally on the same arm, like, I'm just out. <laughs> like I'm playing with literally right. one arm when I'm able to play. Still fought through that, that perseverance type thing. Mm. Um, and then when it came to leaving for school, my senior year, every school, I mean, not every school, every team was like, hey, are you still on that shit? Like, are you still doing that shit you was doing? Sophomore, junior, like, have you changed? What you was doing? Like, it was <laughs> like, it was like, it was just <laughs> like, on that shit. like what? I had, I had, like, okay. So they yeah, keep it real. <laughs> they they um coach wanted us to um <laughs> so at first we was oh, able to man. wear <laughs> so first, no, that what thing, happened was what happened was <laughs> I yeah. told you. <laughs> nah. So coach like 
coming in, we was able to wear like sweats and stuff, right? Right. So then coach wanted to switch. He's like, hey man, um, we want to wear like suit and tie type shit. So I'm in cot like me personally, I'm like, I'm a person like I ain't trying to ask nobody for nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to ask my parents for nothing. Exactly. Like even in college, I'm like, I'm gonna find a way to, get to make a way. Right. So you know, I'm not gonna get statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get into that. Right. But I made a way all the time. Exactly. I always had a little money on me. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And everybody knew that. I could I could get what I could get. Right, exactly. So then I heard like, you know, I was like, oh, they want to buy some tickets. Tickets. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say less. I needed, but I needed some money to get a suit and tie. Right, right. So I like shit. Selling these tickets, I can go to you know a little H and M, get my shit for about eighty. Yeah, I got two twenty so left. Selling the tickets for the games. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh so yeah. you was finessing for that? Yeah. <laughs> the, the t- your comp tickets. I'm from you the city. Selling. First of all, people was, people do that to this day. To this day, to but this you know day. what I mean. But I, but like everything in my life, I always get caught. I gotta walk a <laughs> fine line because in my my whole life, I always get caught. <laughs> you steal the airhead. I steal it. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> so that's just what it was. Like they um, she <laughs> I sold it to this girl, right? Right. And she she gets to the gate and says, "Yeah, I paid for my tickets, Lou Young, Lou." Uh, and they oh. first of all, I'm not even. I'm I'm getting ready for we playing Georgia, playing Georgia sophomore year, Georgia. I get a pick in the game. You get a pick against Georgia, right. ESPN. Right. We was ranked. Right. But I was after that game, I was like, we out. Right. We gone. <laughs> Let and me check up. Last week, next uh, two weeks later, getting ready for the bowl game. Coach like, yeah, we need to see you in the office. I'm like, in the office. Hey, um, this girl said, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I did not I get in trouble for that. Was it because you were away from home? Like it was different environment. Oh, yeah, like I was, um, like my, like my dad, like I would say, like he exposed me to a lot, right? But he also kept me from a lot. Mm. So he also protected me from a lot, but he also would expose me to a lot. Like he's from south- southeast, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And my mom, she's from Newark, New Jersey. So like, oh, Newark, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Newark. they they <laughs> they different. You they know what I mean? Like they, here, yeah, they different. Like I remember going to my grandmother's crib and shit. I cr- our presents got stolen out of the car. Damn. You know what I mean? So, I like. No gifts. No yeah. gifts. No <laughs> gifts. You ain't getting anybody getting shit today. <laughs> so, um, you know what I'm saying? They definitely exposed me to things, but then protected me. And even their friends, like, everybody always protected me. But they would expose me, but protect me. So I was like, what the fuck y'all protecting me from? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to see this shit. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's how... I would get into things. Uh, uh, yeah, no, man. High school, shit, even shit, elementary, middle, yeah, it's just, you know. High school, though, you played in the WCAC, right? Yeah. Good counsel? Good counsel. Yeah. Our Representative. Lady, good counsel. No, yeah. please. Stop DC it. Falcons. Stop it right yeah. now. Stop it right now. So, yeah. what, what oh, yeah, was you doing up at Good Council? Because they don't play in the WCAC. First of all, no I'm like, you getting in trouble there. Yeah. You, no, no. You, you still good a counsel, good. They let y'all do whatever. What cap? You still an apple wow. juice? You cap, yeah. slim, X- cap, cap. cap. <laughs> Bro, we used to go. We 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 used to go to good council to go mess with y'all girls. Who? Good council. Oh, did they, I mean y'all? They got was an literally. Age gap, so they was literally pay. like. Yeah. I mean y'all. They let them do whatever, but. It was no yeah, girls no, in no, the school, though. All, y'all was yeah, not was making that. Possible. Look, I <laughs> think only first, bro, first of all, first of all, there was like forty five minute drive. Like it's cap. Like, it was far. It was far. One hundred percent. Y'all was not making that hike. I'm te- on. Nobody's making that hike. Nah, you got to think. They on Mary. On Mary, we was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> we forgot. Tripping. Y'all, y'all look at y'all the seat. <laughs> Backed nah, up. All nah, nah, that's seat. all they. That, all y'all had was seating. Yeah, I know. I know. Nah, we had McNamara. Nah, seating. We had McNamara too. We was out with McNamara. That's your limitations. But listen though. Go ahead, bro. The. Um, with, uh, let me see. Yeah, good counsel. So, yeah, we were getting in a little trouble, but, like, middle school and everything, 
like I was in public school. Uh-huh. So like I was in DC public school, then moved my What's dad. School? Which one? Which one? DC. Um, which one? I don't know what, what public school. Oh, so went like to? so like I started let me see, I started in uh Durgan Marshall, mm. then I went to start it, then I went to Hardy. Then to Hardy. Yeah. So <laughs> then Hardy. So from Hardy, I was fucking up in Hardy. Like it was bad. Like it was bad. <laughs> so my mom was like, you gotta go with your dad. Straight up. So then I went with him. He was in Montgomery County. Right. But I I linked up with some dudes who was from the city. So I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how it went. Then um my print my that's why it's all it takes a village to raise a kid. Mm-hmm. No matter if it's your blood or not your blood, my vi- this vice principal name was Mr. Harris, mm-hmm. and I was just messing up, and he was like, "Man, I'm trying. I want to save you something." Like it was bad, and they put me. They uh, he came up. They came up with this school called Avalon. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, you heard yeah, Avalon. Yeah, this is yeah. like I used to play against them. This is when Avalon like first was starting. Mm-hmm. It was out. Uh, we was in Bethesda. Damn, I can't remember the street, but. And but that, that was a hike. So I would take that train all the way out there and from Rhode Island Avenue all the way out there. That's a mm-hmm. hike. That red line was crucial. Crucial. Like crucial. <laughs> Metro now, is in a crucial. Bro, then if I was with my dad, it's from Glenmont to Shady Grove. <laughs> right, right, that's the right. whole line. The whole line. That's OC, I man. knock out all my homework before I get home. <laughs> right. So that was um, yeah, like that was a humbling experience. And like it was like, you know. It's a culture shot, so I was like the only black dude, especially really in my class. Like all the kids there was like black guys was there was like trying to get our shit together, trying to get right, right yeah. to go to these WCACs and all these schools, IAC and all that like that. So um, yeah, like uh, doing that definitely, like he, I would say Mr. Harris definitely. Save like my life at that point, mm-hmm. like, and then after that, I was like, Look, I can't go back to what right. I was dealing with, right? I'm, and it was an all boys school, right? Uh, Avalon I definitely wasn't trying to go back to that, what? <laughs> no, backed up, I'm telling you, what? I don't know how y'all did that, bro. What? Yeah. I was like, Nah, so it was good counsel hit, I was like, Gone, so <laughs> yeah, like after that, like, yeah, so definitely good counsel was definitely a big part my journey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I mean, you could tell that somebody got their hand on your life because yeah. obviously you've been through a lot, but you've been able to still, you know, come out yeah. on a positive note, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, with everything that you got going on right now, and you, you said you use, like, comedy to, what, I guess, mask, you know, mm-hmm. the stuff that you got going on, whether it's internally, you know. How do you feel... Oh, how should I say this? Like, do you think that's nec- like? Do you think that's okay to do that? To continue to do that? Or you think you should like you know seek help? I mean, in regards yeah. to like you know yeah, checking I mean, on your mental and shit. Man, like you know, mental health is a big thing, right? And I and I, I I've, I've always uh, had a special place in my heart for any like any type of mental health type thing because I know mentally I be dealing with stuff mm-hmm. as since I was little, but like. Um, it might not be like the perfect way. I know a lot of my loved ones and friends and everything like they be like, "Bro, you should get therapy sometimes." Right? Like, you, like because of the things I've dealt with in my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing my like at a pivotal point in my like football career, my brother died. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, like there's times where shit, I I could get emotional, but I like I don't know. Maybe in my head, I'm like. I can't be a sucker, like, type thing. So mm-hmm. I use, like, comedy and stuff to get through that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then I got a daughter. So, like, I in my head, I'm like, I got to be tough or strong for her. So I have to find something that kind of, it's like a defense mechanism. Like, mm-hmm. it, 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 it takes me away from that pain. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Right now, I, like, in my head, it's like, as soon as I miss my brother, I, I get flashbacks to the day I got that call. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He was like, you know what I mean? Because my brother, he was murdered in Baltimore. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's it's things I deal with every day, like dealing with that. So it's it's, it's stuff to where I've, I've been like, I knew who did it. 
I, I could have made, like, punch a button and and made sure that they didn't come out of their house that night. But it's like, mentally, it's like, do I do that? Or do I, or, or like, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to live right, but at the same time, you still have regrets by trying to live right, mm-hmm. even though it's the right thing to do. Dang. Yeah, I think... Um, you know, understanding you because, like, I'm, like, the opposite. When I'm mad about something, I'm mm. just mad. Like, I can't figure out a way to, like, laugh or anything like that. Like, I'll, I'll try here and there or whatever, but uh, I, I kind of like your method of being able to, like, smile through the pain or, yeah. like, laugh and, you know, figure out different ways to make yourself feel better about a situation because I feel like sometimes, what well, you'll probably be going through something, you crack a few jokes, like, you don't even remember what you was mad about you know after that that. and everybody kind of goes through different ways of of coping or figuring out like how am I going to get through this and make sure I still have a good day and I'm still on top of my stuff and not making something so permanent or like upsetting you for what the entire day week whatever no it's it's I guess it's it might not it's probably not the best I should probably talk more or get it out I've always been a person like I I, I keep shit in, like I just mm-hmm. stuff like I just all right that I bet you did that bet right you but said then that it blow up and it's like but when I blow it up blow. yeah you better back the, the f- f- up because <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I don't know who and it's not nothing personal it's like it's some shit that I've been dealing with over here. And now it's coming to the forefront. You know what I mean? You and, can't control and it either. And can't that's control you don't even it. know when it's gonna happen. That's what I was talking about. We talked yeah. about that with Brandon. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 something that yeah, man, like, I don't talk to myself right now. It's 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 different and and you know what I mean? It's like I, I'm a I'm a Libra. Like I don't know much about zodiac about say, signs. I don't I don't know Big much Libra. about the, the signs. Don't know about Scorpio. Your moon. Oh, sh- what does that mean? Your, Why are you looking at me like that? that? You're a Scorpio? Yes. I tr- I, my mom's a Scorpio. Sh- wow, right? Crazy. <laughs> crazy. They are crazy. I mean, I know I'm a little crazy, but. What? No, a little. Oh, oh we little. know. <laughs> Listen, I don't know much. You you, you date? Uh, uh, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> Do I have to say that on the show? Oh, you don't have to? Oh, my fault. <laughs> no, you're fine. I just want to say. Attack. <laughs> if. If. He ever mess up? Well, Slim. They are some. Better, he better watch out. They want revenge. Because they not going to forget. Oh, yeah. I done said something to my mom when I was little. She's like, I remember when you said that shit. <laughs> Damn, I was eight. I was eight. I didn't even know what I was saying. <laughs> right. That's nah. how it be. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, man. But I think um, speaking on that, like, bottling, um, keeping everything bottled up. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of us, I think we need to, like, embrace the moments. Embrace the highs and embrace the lows, um, and face everything. Like you yeah. feel me? Like yeah. it's it, like I, I use comedy too. So like I f- I feel like that's a good defensive position mm. against you know whatever people going through. Mm. Um, but but what I want to know is what about the comedians that like? Cause when I get when I when I'm getting that little mood, I just get on Instagram, probably watch somebody, maybe watch yours, just watch somebody some funny stuff, and then I go about my day. But like, mm. what do what would y'all do? Like. Because y'all the ones that's yeah. making everybody happy and smiling, but like, you yeah. know me, what's that link? Like my dad, always, my dad always told me he was like, like at a, so like growing up, he would always have me um, like watching um, football highlights stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Right. But he had a big collection of comedy, big collection like VHS, like mm-hmm. Richard Pryor, Red Fox, like Flip Wilson, all these dudes, right? And I would just watch them. I ain't Bill Cosby, all these motherfuckers. And I would watch them, and, like, I would – I'm supposed to be watching football highlights, but I would sneak and watch this. Mm-hmm. And I would just be cracking up, like, late at night cracking up. You know what I'm saying? And I would start asking him questions. He was like, man, he would just tell me, like, you know, a lot of comedians, their comedy is through pain. Or, or like, a lot, of, a lot of comedians might be shy. Like – you ever seen like some comedians? They come on like little like Tonight shows and stuff like that, and they sitting on the couch, like Jay Leno or something. Like, they low key a little bashful, a little shut because, like, once they get into that character, that gives them an extra boost. A lot of them like maybe lack confidence or something like that. That's what I see or that's what I've heard. So, 
when you add on different type of pain and stuff like that, their medicine is their profession. Mm-hmm. Like I, for me, like now being like from football to comedy, I would say like my even playing football, dealing with persevering like through getting cut. Like my rookie year, like bro, I got cut four times. Mm. Damn. Like as a rookie, like. What? Like, I didn't even know what, like, being signed, and then, like, I remember they tell me I'm about to be signed to the practice squad. I didn't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> right? I didn't know what that was. And I get signed to the practice squad. I'm supposed to get signed to the practice squad. I come in there to sign. I'm seeing everybody else leave. And then they come and get me. And it's like, Lou, we got to talk to you. Like, what? Oh, man. So the day before, like, it was all this love. This day, ain't nobody in sight. Like as an early, like as an early, I'm like, damn, I gotta, like, how do I deal with this? I ain't gonna say I was, I cried like a baby. I was hot. They had to cut, like, they telling me this. I go home, then the next week I get signed by the Ravens, right? Doing my thing, they cut me. But like, all that pain, like, I was like, well, I've already seen it. So like, really, it ain't shit you could do to me. So, next team in Jacksonville, it's all in my rookie year. Month later, they cut me. At that point, I was like numb. Like, like y'all like, really like. I just got a. I built up this brick wall, mm-hmm. and I don't really let a lot of people in. But it's because of the things I've dealt with, with like, you know, growing up and then with own profession. All right. So, so kind of changing gears. Let's get into some comedy. Okay. Okay. So one of these. Comedians have to go. We got Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, and Mike Epps. You got to delete oh, one. Yeah. That's tough. Mike Epps got to go. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> bro. <bruh. laughs> no, bro. No. Are you no, serious? Hold on. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Boy, First of bro, all, I just got mad, bro. No, bro. Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy, I literally watched vid- movies of them. Portraying different people in the same right. scene, same oh, yeah. movie, like that talent is undeniable. Yeah, Eddie like Professor. Richard Pryor did that before yeah. Eddie Murphy. Right, he would play three people in damn near in one scene. Right, yes, baby. <laughs> I'm saying, like, yeah. As a now, as a now, I love Mike Epps. Mike, that's my dog. But damn. Wow. Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor, they do something different. Like, yeah. now if you would have said like. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, and Martin Lawrence, I'd have been like, I can't, I can't answer that. Young Martin was funny, bro. Martin was funny. I can't answer I think, that. I don't know. It, I don't know who's funnier between Martin and Mike Epps. I, oh, I Martin. like both, though. Martin, well, you think, if I had yeah. to be Richard is gone. I'm sorry. Have you watched, like, his older movies? Yes, like, I Which have. Way and is I Up? Laugh. And, yeah. I laugh, but he's gone. Mike Epps is, bro, that's my favorite comedian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say Richard gone. Uh, some, somebody take their black card. <laughs> black card revoke. <laughs> trying to revoke my card. Nah, crazy. All right, so crazy. so movie wise, three movies, one gotta go. We got we got Friday. Uh, let's see, Blue Streak. Blue Streak is fucking funny. Um, give me one more. Uh, Friday, Blue Friday, Street. Blue Streak. What you got? All about the Benjamins. All about the, oh oh, all about Benjamins. the Benjamins. Now, first of all, you take out all about the Benjamins. You're cut. You gonna leave? We ain't even gonna post Friday. this. Hold on, we hold not on. even gonna post this. Hold Friday, on, Blue Street. All, Street. all about, about the Benjamins. Heat, Friday. Friday. I'm keeping Friday. Friday. Blue, Blue Street. Streak. And bro. All, bro. all about Blue the Benjamins Street. got to get the f- on. <laughs> Facts. What? No bruh. kizzy. Bro, that shit was funny. But Blue Streak. I could eat my cereal. I could eat my cereal. Have you seen Blue Streak? Bro, yeah, but compared to all about I'm the talk- Benjamins, bro, I can eat my cereal to that every day. Nah, every I can't day. eat that one. Oh, I no. can't eat my cereal to nope. Blue Streak every day. Nah, you're tripping. Blue Streak, you're missing. All about the Benjamins. When last time y'all seen Blue Streak? I, I was watch watching it on Netflix. Weeks. I just yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Blue <laughs> Streak is a well, I lo- I, But I, I was also watching all about the Benjamins when they put that joint on Netflix do, do, too. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How many? You can name. Endless scenes in Blue Street. Nah, you all about the business OC Come on, though, bro. All about the business. Outside OC. of the outside of the 20, 20, 25, 47. 
Outside of that, what's the other? What's another funny scene you could think? Um, name right when there. When it was the store eating the right. potato chips, the, the same uh, scene. The white, uh, well, yes, that is oh, yeah, the same scene the with same the white scene. ladies. All right, that store. is the same scene. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Blue Street, you can come on now. Literally every scene Mike Epps was in that joint was for every scene. Yeah. <laughs> Book them. <laughs> Book them. Oh. Yeah. Book them geeks. All right, hey, all right, all right. Come so, on, bro. Nah, but that joint's not, but like, Blue Streak is funny. That joint is funny. Like, Put them on the noodles. Scene, Chicken and beef. We're going to make a poll. <laughs> We're going to make a poll, and we'll see. We have to. All right, right, so we got Life, Coming to America, and Barbershop. Life. You going to take Life out? Life? Oh, no, no. Life? Oh, Life what? number one. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 Miss oh. Gracious. Hey, bro. I was about to say, hold on. He got to go. Oh, I thought y'all was, oh, I thought y'all was saying which one was better. Oh, no, there. one got to go. So we got Life. Barbershop and coming to America. Oh, barbershop got barbershop go. gone. Barbershop geeks, y'all tripping. Nah, that's good. Barbershop that ain't, coming to America. That ain't yeah. on that level. Coming life to America, break, that's tradition. Right a, 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 every Oscar, Academy Award. That's probably one of the best Not comedy so movies what, ever. Exactly made. Nah, that, like, that cast like was crazy. Yeah, Birdie yeah, the Mac. cast is like. All of them Eddie in one. Murphy, that's, that movie. Martin. That movie. Honestly, yeah. that you movie. Got, like, you got Martin. Eddie Murphy, Bernie, Bernie, um, um, Anthony Anderson. Yeah. Um, um, What's the one who Joe they killed? Tor- was the guy Tory or Joe Tory? One of them. One of them Tory brothers. Uh, the old dude. What's his name? That they. What's his dude? <laughs> they got killed. Guy? That's what I was dude. trying to think of. Um, oh. I don't, I don't remember. I came. No, but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they even got my man that be in all of Dude who be in all the black movies. Can't get right. He in every oh, black movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't, can't get, get right. right. Yeah. He in every black movie you can think of. Wow. So I got my boy, uh, Juana Man. Yeah, that's the one who I was thinking of. They got of Miguel. Who, Miguel, yes, him. Miguel, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got too many people. Life is the number it's, one. It's, it's different. Oh, you want your cornbread? Larry <laughs> Henley. Damn right I want my cornbread. Brent yeah, Jennings, they what's got the everybody. Dude, the dude who played Barry Gordy in the Temptations movie. He in there. Yeah, hey, they got everybody. Yeah, they was lit. They was lit as hell. I don't know how. That's a Rick that's James. a crazy cast for real. They budget was Did you ridiculous. Say Rick James, get out of here. That's a crazy cast. Goodness gracious. So, question, bro. Like, I got I got a couple questions. Like, I feel like a lot of people would want to know this. Like, with comedians, like, how do y'all monetize like y'all con- y'all content and being able to like make money from it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Create like a, a livelihood from that. Yeah, I mean, me a big thing is like okay. Getting likes and like me, my thing is like the likes and the views. Yeah, that's gonna attract more people to wanna ask me to maybe make some content for a product or right. this and that. So it really, it's like I could give, I could care less about like fame, right? Or like if somebody know me, I want that. I'm trying to set my daughter up for life, so all that other shit is out the window. So I know that. But the support that I get from people, I embrace that because that let me know that they like what I'm doing, one. And then, two, that other people seeing that all this uh, um, likeness, or you know what I'm saying, or they tracking how many views and likes and everything like that, mm-hmm. and they sharing it. So the the money, I guess the monetization comes from, like, those views. So then people will hit, hit me up. Now people will hit me up, like, oh, can you – make something for this or that. But, you know, I've taken some losses in the past because I'm like, I'm not just going to do something just because you gave me some money. Like, if I don't like that shit, I'm not, right. I'm not, I'm not about to rock yeah. with it. Like, all money, ain't, all money ain't good money. All right, yeah. I got integrity with my stuff. So, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't doing that. Right. But, like, and then at the same time, I got to, like, as I grow, the price going to go up. Straight yeah. up. So, I'm not about to settle for less. Oh, uh, my, nah. Price going up, mm-hmm. so is it like you make money off each post or like you know what I'm like saying? The, like if it's some, some type if of it's some like partnership, yeah, I'm probably I'm making money off of that. Yeah, for sure. That's dope. Def- yeah, I'm de- like, but that's that's just me being consistent. Mm-hmm. You know, over time, mm-hmm. right? Like it didn't come out off the gate like that. Nah, I ain't, my first year of putting this content out, I was, everything I, that's all me, all my money, all everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. Trying to promote myself, like all that stuff, like that's me. Right. So now all like all those things I went like doing, or I was doing to get all this uh, 
you know, the notoriety and everything like that, yeah. it's coming back in, in full now. Oh, so yeah. I, and, and Big time. you know, it's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then you mentioned, like, obviously, so for, for guys that, that may or may not get traded or whatever, like, you said you got traded four times as a rookie, bro? Right. I got, as a rookie, I got cut four times. A cut, yeah, yeah, cut. Yeah, I didn't get traded. Yeah, cut. Cut. So, like, I, and he said, was like, yo, I'm trying to get out of my lease. Like, like he was like, I'm trying to figure, oh, so how the hell did yeah, you do yeah, that? Yo. Oh, the leases? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Slam. shit, when I, when I, <laughs> signed, okay, so, Denver, I was undrafted. So, you ain't really got to have a, a lease, so, so to speak, then. Mm-hmm. Like, they paying for your hotel and everything. As a rookie, you know what I mean? That's how it go. So, but I was looking for cars and, and like, how, I'm like, oh, I'm about to get Try and flex. Like, right? Not <laughs> even flex, but I'm like. Try and get right. I, yeah. see, I see the salary. I'm like, okay, I could do this. Da, da, da. <laughs> and then, you know, I got cut, and I was like, damn. So, my signing bonus was only, like, uh, after taxes, 3500 Damn. After taxes. You know what I'm saying? After taxes, it was 3500 So, uh, you know, the sign of bonus is gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. gone. Just keep it a buck. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. out of there. Taxes, your agent. Yeah, the whole I mean, it was, it was out of there. Like, great. Thank God I had my agent, Tony Page, you know what I'm saying, to this day. So that's my uncle. You know oh, what okay. I'm saying? So that was that was love. Like, he always just kind of looked out for me and everything like that. So I'm, I was always, like I said, I was been blessed with people to protect me. Right. But if we go into, like, the leases, when I signed to Baltimore, like, that next week, two weeks later, after having a conversation with the D coordinator, he was like, man, Lou, like, I think you could be, like, a really great nickel in this league. And, like, we really like you and everything. I'm like, oh, shit. So that week, my, my, uh, my brother's mother, she, they live in Baltimore. So I was like. All right, we just ever we get a spot together. My brother be there, like my sister could be there, my nephew. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, right. it's love. Mm-hmm. And like the next week, cut me. Oh. So I kept that place for like I mean, for, you for, the, for anyway, the family, yeah. like for right. everybody. Like so, I made sure I kept that place, even though I wasn't really making that much money to really keep that place. Like I, sh- but at the same time, I was like, you know what I'm saying, like. I gotta make sure my fam straight. Right. At, the, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. um, then when I went to Jacksonville, I got me a spot. Next week, got cut. So, good thing about that was I did the joint where you can. Um, it's like uh, it's fully furnished. Oh, uh, uh, so like it cottage. was like co-living or or whatever it's called for like professionals type thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know exactly what it's called, but it was a. Um, but still, I still had to pay a fee uh-huh, to get places, out. Yeah. To get out, so yeah. it's like I'm I'm losing bread. Like it's like what the fuck, man. Right, you keep so losing. <laughs> when I got to Carolina, and I was doing Carolina for three years. So when I got to Carolina that first year. I stayed in uh, I stayed like uh, extended stays. Uh huh. Because at that point, I was like, you know, any day I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. What they extend the state probably like fifty dollars or something like that? Sixty dollars. They had a little deal. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah, had yeah. A, like a little deal worked yeah. out with the Panthers and everything like that. So yeah. that was a Clutch. blessing. That was like yeah, that was definitely Clutch. a blessing. But like you're not gonna find it everywhere. So right. I was like, uh, it was tough. That's like one of our guests, Chloe, who she played in the WNBA. She said when she got there, she never had fully unpacked because she just didn't know like anything could happen. Uh, the type WNBA deal. tricky. Oh, oh, definitely. Definitely, you can you can be gone like that. that as a, and and like as an undrafted guy, like I always say, like I feel like drafted players they might have like two years to kind of try to figure it out. Yeah, definitely, and I feel like uh, with the WNBA, especially if you don't go undrafted, it is very, very, very hard to make a, a roster. Damn near impossible. And WNBA? And like, or you, you got to yeah. go overseas. If you like, if that's your aspirations, you want to mm-hmm. continue to play and like get better and stuff like that. Uh, so, 
Yeah, the, that, yeah, that grind is mm. different. Only 144 spots. All right, well, we appreciate you for coming on, man. You gave us a lot of knowledge. We love your post. Uh, keep it up. I want to see some more Snowfall stuff. That's one of my favorite shows. The, the Franklin Skit. Skit. Franklin. Geeks. Yeah. Uh, we, got a, <laughs> we got a little something for you, for our guests when they come on the show. Um, well, hey, bro, stop <laughs> playing with me, bro. <laughs> no, I'm trying to throw <laughs> Give me your cap. Real, give him the gift. Give him right, the gift. Right, give him the gift. We used to have. <laughs> right, about to go in over. Uh, we used to have a red bag, but you got a blue bag today. You, you know the first saying? one with a blue bag. Nah, you know I'm. A, I, you know what I'm saying. I'm a blue, my favorite color, anyways. Oh yeah, oh, see, perfect. Look at there you go. Okay. You don't even look right on you. See, I'm supposed to open this right now. No, you, you can do good, whatever bro. you want. Yeah. Whatever you want to mm -hmm. do, bro. You got no card. You got uh. Right. Shirt, Try to man. treat you good. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, come on now. Yeah, that's man. how you treat your guests. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. Hospitality at its fullest. I appreciate y'all for real though. You know what I'm saying? Let me come up on here, do my thing. Yeah, most definitely. I know y'all gonna have to bleep. I was cussing a little bit. Y'all might have to bleep it out. <laughs> well, all good. He was being okay. yourself. That's what my you know man. What I'm saying, that's what my man, uh, Corey, for. Let's you one, one before I leave. The Hulu. Why you gotta move your? Uh, your oh, you gotta move stand my up mic. Show the Hulu. Oh, yeah. yeah, stand up. You gotta move, move my mic. Little, uh, what is it? Your strings out the way. I always, I really, I just, this mic situation. I just good. always felt like I was in a fucking booth. <laughs> 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 but um. <laughs> you gotta do the voice with it, Hulu. <laughs> yeah. Hulu. Uh, I just got the Nah, definitely. I appreciate y'all for real, man. Uh, this is a cool, cool experience. Y'all got something smooth going on here. Appreciate um, that, bro. Definitely. Shout out to y'all. Real. Appreciate that 100, man, 100, man. But yeah, man, that's another episode right there, man. We appreciate having you, though. Law. That's law, yo. No 50-50, no curtains. I'm closing the curtains. Stop all the acting. I'm tired of all of the purpose.